Good morning everyone. Dear children, we have completed chapter 1, Numbers are friends. Now, let's revise the topics that you have studied in different videos. So here, I have certain number of questions which we are going to discuss and solve in today's video. Children, these questions are taken from your revision worksheet only. Now let's start. The very first question is, write the expanded form of 6,54,837. Now writing expanded form means writing or expressing the given number as the sum of place values of all the digits in it. So here, the very first digit is 6. The place value of 6 is lakh. Yes. So we will multiply 6 by 1 lakh. And what we will get? We will get 6 lakh. Now, what is the place value of 5? 5 is at 10,000. The place value of 5 is 10,000. So we will multiply 5 by 10,000 and we will get 50,000. Plus, the place value of 4 is 1000. So, we will multiply 4 by 1000 and we will get 4000. Next is 8. The place value of 8 is 100. So, we will multiply it by 100 and we will get 800. Next is 3. We will multiply 3 by 10 because its place value is 10. So, we will get 30 and ultimately the place value of 7 is 1. So, we will multiply it by 1 and we will get 7. So, this is how we have expressed the given number as the sum of the place values of all the digits in it. I hope you have revised this topic. Moving to next question. What is the difference between the face value and place value of the digit 9 in 4,59,326? So here, let's revise what do we mean by face value. Face value of a digit in a number remains same irrespective of its place. So, the face value of 9 will be 9 only. But the place value of a digit in a number depends on its place in that number. So, here 9, the place value of 9 is 1000. So, we will multiply 9 by 1000 and we will get 9000. So, 9000 is the place value of 9 in this number. Further on, we have to find the difference between both of them. So, 9000 minus 9 gives you 8991. In next question, we are given one mathematical expression. And we can clearly see that a pair of brackets is used in this expression. So, what we studied children in the video uh, which was based on bracket solving, we studied that if in an expression a pair of brackets is used, we first simplify the expression written inside the bracket. So, we will strictly follow this and here inside the bracket, it is very clear that 135 has to be subtracted from 305. On subtraction, we would get 170 and 252 is written as it is in the second step. Further on, 170 will be subtracted from 252 and we will get 82 as the answer. So, this is how we have simplified this expression which involved a pair of brackets. Next question is insert commas appropriately in 5337430 as per Indian system of numeration and international system of numeration and write it in words. Dear children, let's revise the concept of Indian system of numeration 
and international system of numeration so indian system of numeration has four periods ones period thousands period lakhs period and crores period the very first period that is ones period contains three digits what is that yes it is ones tens and hundreds the next period is thousands period that contains two digits only that is thousands and ten thousands the next period contains again two digits what is that lakhs and ten lakhs and the last period also contains two digits that is crores and 10 crores so children in short we can say that the first period contains three digits and the remaining periods contain two digits each now we insert comma after every period to distinguish it remember we always start inserting comma from right and we start counting different periods also from right so here we have put commas like this please have a look at it now let's write the given number in words according to indian system of numeration it is 5 crore 33 lakh 74000 Three hundred and six. Now, international system of numeration. Remember, in international system of numeration, the first period is of three digits. That is ones period. And after that, all the periods in the international system are of three digits only. so that means that in short we can say that all the periods in international system of numeration contains three digits only again we have four periods what are the periods children yes they are ones period thousands period millions period and billions period so we have inserted comma after every three digits now let's write it in words what it will be 53 million 374306 children next two questions are based on Hindu Arabic numeral system and Roman numeral system. So let's quickly revise both the number system. The numbers that we use in our day-to-day -day life, like zero, one, two, three, up to nine, are called digits. And the number system formed by these digits is called Hindu Arabic number system. Next to it. we have one another number system which is called roman numeral system in which symbols i v x l c d and m are used to represent numbers now we use these symbols to convert a hindu arabic number into roman numerals these symbols represent different numbers now let's revise what hindu arabic numbers these symbol represent i represent 1 v represent 5 X represents ten. L represents fifty. 
C represents 100. D represents 500. And last but not the least, M represents 1000. Come back to question now. We have to write the Roman numeral of 900. The answer written over here is CM. Let's see how CM is the answer. First of all, we must remember one thing that the symbol C written left to symbol M, which means that the value of symbol C will be subtracted from the value of symbol M. This is one of the rules of writing numbers into Roman numeral. Now, the value of symbol M is 1000. The value of symbol C is 100. Since C is written left to M, which means that which means that 100 will be subtracted from 1000. Now on subtraction you will get 900. So that's how 900 is written as CM in Roman numeral form. Next part is 395. Children, 395 can be written as 300 plus 90 plus 5. Now, we will write Roman numbers for these parts separately and let's see what we will get. 300 can be written as 3 times C. C, remember, can be repeated 3 times. So, 3 times C will give you 300. 90 can be written as XC. Now, what do we mean by XC? XC means 10 is subtracted from 100 as X represents 10 and it is written left to the symbol C and C stands for 100. So, this means 90. Further on, 5 will be represented by symbol V. So, this is how we have got the Roman number for 395. Moving to next question. We have to write Hindu Arabic numeral of DCC. It's very easy children. Tell me what is that number which is represented by D? Yes, that is 500. Now tell me the number represented by symbol C. It is 100. Again C will represent 100. On adding all 3, what you will get? You will get 700. So DCC will represent 700. Next is L triple X V. Again, let's do the same thing. The symbol L represents 50. The symbol X represents 10. Again 10. One more time 10. Then the symbol V represents 5. On adding all of them, what we will get? We will get 85. So this is the answer. Now, next question is a story problem. I am reading the question. Listen to me very carefully. A truck carries 65 boxes. Each of these boxes contains 80 smaller packages. Each of these smaller packages contains 15 toy soldiers. How many toy soldiers are being carried in the truck? Children, Always after reading a word problem, we need to figure out the important information from it. For example, here, total number of boxes in the truck are 65. 
Number of packages in each box is 80. Further on, number of toy soldiers in one package is 15. Moving to the solution, we'll first express the information in the form of statements. So let's begin. Number of boxes in the truck is equal to 65. Number of packages in one box is equal to 80. Children, we first need to find the total number of packages in 65 boxes. Why 65? Because the total number of boxes in the truck is 65. And this we can get by multiplying 65 by 80. Now on multiplying it, you will get 5200. So number of packages in 65 boxes are 5200. Moving to the next part of the question, number of toys in one package is 15. We need to find the total number of toys in 5200 packages. For that, we will multiply 5200 by 15. On multiplication, we will get 78,000. Children, I am posting one revision worksheet on WhatsApp group. Kindly solve it in your maths notebook and practice well.